This video is all about clearing your hard drive if you're using Final Cut. What's going on YouTube? Shake a flash and I am back. Back about beard. Beard's gone, looking about 12. But that's life. So this video is all about clearing your hard drive if you're using Final Cut. So what actually happens is, is that the actual Final Cut will just back up loads of little renders and I'll say little, but there are loads of big files in the background and you'll know it's on your hard drive that you're losing space and this says like, other, doesn't actually say what it is. So this video is all about how to clear that. So it's kind of like a Photoshop uh, scratch disc. So if you ever use Photoshop, you have a scratch disc and it takes up loads of hard drive space. Same kind of thing, so it's rendered files that you use on other projects and it stores them. So every time you go into a project, it makes backup of these little rendered files. So what actually ends up happening, it fills the whole of your hard drive. So with this little hint and tip, it will clear that space and you end up with loads and loads of space. So I've, I've done it before where I've had like 500 gig space, all used up, I've done this, and it's cleared up 300, 200 gigabytes of space. And you're like, wow, well, what the hell? So I do this, I do this all the time. I do this like every time I'm making a video on Final Cut, before I start making any adjustments to my actual video. So, my own only clears a little bit. My own clears like 20 gigabyte. But if, you, if you've never done this before, you want to clear so much space. That's it. That's what we're here for. What's going on guys, JK Flash. And this is a little quick video on if you're losing space on your laptop, your MacBook, or your uh, iMac, etc. So, what it is, if you're using Final Cut, um, as I said before, I use all different programs, but my main editing for YouTube is Final Cut. So if you're using Final Cut and you finally run out of space, well, the, the main thing is that it holds all the render files. So if you quickly, as you can see, this is my uh, actual timeline for Reese. Uh, if you click on the Apple sign about this Mac, and as you can see here, I've got uh, 186.23 gigabyte available out of 511 gigabyte. So, so I've got 186 uh, gigabyte available. So look, if we just do this little quick workaround, what it is, if you go back into Final Cut, all you've got to do is select File, Delete Generated Library Files, and then hit Delete Rendered Files, and then you hit OK. Don't, be, don't panic, it's not going to delete your actual files. You get your little spinny wheel, it'll show all the products uh, loaded at the top. But, believe it or not, I should have over 2 gigabyte of space now. So let's go in, File, Storage. So I've got 200 gig, but I've had this situation before where my hard drive has been full. I've done that delete and it's deleted like 200 gig of just pure rendered files in your computer. I hope this video helped you guys. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And hope to see you soon. Please subscribe to my channel. Come on, subscribe. That's it. So catch you guys later and love you. And oh, quick update. So. I'll finish my giveaway in another week. So leaving it on there for a little while to get a couple of more comments and stuff and that's it. Then I'll do it on the weekend. So got a couple of more days and that's it. Bye.